Hi, my name is Dr. David Newman with Roseheart Hypnotherapy Success Centers and the Charles Dindaker School of Neuroscience. The reason that I wanted to talk to you today was to introduce you to neurofeedback. Now, neurofeedback's been around for a long time, but it's the first time that we've actually been able to use it in a clinical setting without having to go through a neural net where they put the whole net on, it takes hours and hours and hours, there's a bunch of mess, you've got you know, the uh, conductive gel and things like that, and clients really don't like to do that, and most of my clients can't afford to sit down there and spend eight to 10 hours um, over here at the practice. So what I did is I partnered with a company called Interoxone. And Interoxone, let me tell you about them. They are out of the University at York, they're in Toronto. They have neuroscientists on staff, as well as some pretty darn impressive um, computer people. And it was pretty phenomenal. And as I worked with them, they have come up with a product called Muse. Now, I know that you may have seen the Muse first generation. This is the second generation Muse. It looks very similar to the first generation, is it's a headband. It simply fits on like so and comes down behind the ears. The really nice thing about this, especially with the second generation, is this allows us to not only monitor someone in the clinic, okay, in a clinical setting, but it allows the client to take the Muse home and use it with their smartphone, with their pad or tablet. It doesn't matter if it's uh, for an iOS or if it's an Android or PC based. It works with them both. It's affordable. That's the most important thing. Most of my clients in the past with other companies that I worked with, with neurofeedback, the devices were either difficult to use, they didn't give accurate readouts, or you really couldn't use it by yourself. The Muse is specifically set up so that you can use it and it trains you how to quote unquote meditate, but more importantly, it teaches you how to focus your mind. If it's focused, you get instantaneous feedback. And if your mind wanders, which all of our minds do at one time or another, it gives you that feedback as well. What the end result has been, both with my clients, with myself, and with the folks in our clinic itself, is that the phenomenal results have been quick. What used to take us months with the old products that we used to use, now take us a matter of days, maybe a week. The people get that instantaneous feedback, they get instantaneous results, and more importantly, they get the positive feedback. Now, I'm gonna show you a little bit later on in this video what the actual uh, application looks like on the smartphone, as well as the back door for what the clinical person can look at. And here's the really cool thing. I have to hand it to the people over there that are designing the applications for Muse because they listen to us. And what they did is they gave us a back door. They gave us a proprietary system that will take all of our clients' readings off of their muses, put it in an order, and allow the clinician to look at them so we can see it. Now this does a couple of things. In a therapy business, one of the things that we instill in our clients is you must be willing to do it. So it's responsibility. However, how many of us have had clients that say that they would do it and then they don't. And there's always an excuse, but they just simply didn't. By using the backdoor program, we can go in on a daily, a weekly, a monthly basis, and we can actually see when our clients use the Muse, how long did they use it, what their results were, what did their actual brain scan show, were they calm, were they active, were they in a neutral state, okay? what's going on, and so we know exactly how to gear the therapy directly to help the client the most. This has reduced my therapy times in halves. I've been getting the results in half the time. The result has been, from a financial standpoint, has been pretty good because I'm now having other psychologists, psychiatrists, and clinical licensed social workers send their clients over to us because we can get the results that they haven't been able to get in months and sometimes years. Okay, so I'll be back with you in a few minutes. We're gonna check out exactly how it looks on the smartphone. Now this one that I'm gonna be showing you is on an Apple smartphone, but it doesn't really matter. They look the same, whether it's an Android PC based or if it's an Apple product, okay? So I'll see you in just a couple of minutes. 
As we look at the readout after the session, you notice it's divided into three portions. The first portion has a graph. The second portion is labeled results with calm points, recoveries, and birds. And then the third portion is awards, share on Facebook and share on Twitter so that you can get additional support and encouragement from your friends. Let's take a look at each of these. The first portion, we see a graph. Now, the longer the session, the more compressed the graph is. However, what this is showing is in the upper section, in the lighter colored section, you, you'll see that I didn't have anything in there, but that is when you're very active or your brain waves are very active, you're not focused. Okay, so your brain waves are kind of going all over the map. When that happens, the music or the sounds that you're listening to will get very, very loud. So in this particular case, we were looking at a beach. The beach would sound like a storm had moved in. The waves would be very, very loud. Um, you'd hear a lot of wind and you'd hear no birds. When we go into the middle section, okay, in the middle section you do see that I have some high points in there. That is neutral. That's where my brain is focused, but it's not focused intently. And, um, you know, I'm not hearing a whole lot. I, I may hear a bird or two, but that's about it. And then the lower section is where I'm very, very calm. I'm extremely focused while maintaining this state of calm. Um, and the people over at Interoxon would call this meditation. Uh, I look at it as a little bit different because for me and my training, meditation is total absence of thought. And by using the Muse, I've perfected a way that we can be extremely focused in our thoughts, in a task that we have to do, um, in some sort of problem that we have to solve, and yet still remain in that meditative calm state where we would be hearing birds. This is absolutely one of the most vital things that you can ever have in running a business or with business people, leaders. Uh, other places that I've used this is with attorneys, witnesses, things like that, so that no matter what happens, nothing rattles you. You're feeling calm, confident, relaxed, and you're focused. You're focused on an issue, a problem, or a situation, and you can see exactly how to resolve that issue. So it's pretty nice. Your awards, your awards are kind of nice. Uh, it's kind of like a scorecard, if you will. You get birds, uh, you get a little bird award there that you can see that on the left-hand side. Um, that just says how many birds I've gotten you know, over a period of time, and you've got the feather, and you have a bunch of other things. It's kind of cutesy. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, but just to let you see what the awards do look like, uh, there is the explanation. Uh, the first one with the bird is the Bird of Eden Award. That means that I've earned at least two birds per minute. Um, and then the Serenity Award, which is the feather, which is showing that I was at least 70% or more calm during this session. Okay, not a big deal. Uh, if we go back up to the top, back up to the graph itself, and we go ahead and punch that, now I can see an expanded portion of the graph, and I can run that straight across the board. And as I run it, I can actually analyze each thing. Now, if I now this is my raw data, okay, but now if I want to eliminate recoveries. I do that because I didn't have any recoveries anyway, but this, if I had clicked this little button that says show recoveries, if I'd clicked that off, then uh, it would have eliminated my recoveries. But this shows the birds, and you can see exactly where I was when I got those birds. That's the little highlighted area, and you can see how long I had the birds and where I had the birds and what specific area I needed to be in. So if you go too calm, you lose the birds, okay? When you go too calm, it's almost as if you fall asleep. And when that happens, your mind does go active, but you lose the birds, okay? And the object of using neurofeedback or brainwave technology is to maintain your focus and keep your focus while staying in an extreme, super relaxed or calm state so that ideas flow to you quickly, creativity flows to you quickly, and at the same time, solutions. And you can see those solutions very, very clearly. Okay, then uh, as we go to the results with uh, the points and the birds, here you see it, and you see what the multipliers are. So it just is a nice way to go. Now, the thing that I really like about using the Muse 
is the fact that for most of it, it's intuitive. It works the way that our brain is geared to work. And I have to give credit to Interoxin that created Muse because they work directly with neuroscientists that are at the University of Toronto in uh, Canada. They really have a good feel of this. And Muse was originally designed for clinicians and also for the layperson, the consumer at the end. So in one respect, this is very, very simple so that anyone can do this and learn it very, very quickly. You don't even have to try to learn to meditate. If you just use this, you will naturally have it. That's the beauty of it. From the clinician side, and in a few minutes I'm going to show you the clinician side, exactly what we can see and how we can help our clients, you're going to see that this is one of the most valuable tools that you could ever have in your little quiver of tools. Hi, welcome back. We're looking right now at the clinician side of the Muse portal that's just for the professional. In here you will notice immediately that I have the buttons right here that go to add client, edit client list, and then hide the clients or hide the pictures if you will. Here are my active clients that I'm currently working with that use the Muse. Now for confidentiality standpoint, it really should be noted that with all the therapists that we have in our office, it doesn't really matter. We each have our own professional portal. And my clients are in my portal only. The other therapists, their clients are in their portals only. I do not have access to their clients' information. They don't have access to mine. And I think that's really important. While we as hypnotherapists are not required to maintain HIPAA standards, uh, with Interoxon and Muse, we come pretty darn close to it. So let's go ahead and take a look at a client. We're going to look at mine. Okay, so I just simply double click on that. And here it's showing you that it's opening up the file and we're going to go immediately into session history. This shows all the sessions that I've had. It shows how long I had it. In other words, what time I started for how long. How many really calm times were were there? Okay, I had 76 birds. How many recoveries did I have? That's times when my mind wandered and I brought it back in. And then it shows, you know, in the 20 minutes, what percentage of calm I had, what percentage of neutral I had, and then what percentage of active I had. Okay, so this is pretty handy. But let's dig down a little bit deeper. We go over here to this little arrow button, and voila, I see my actual raw data. Okay, and this is kind of important because it's showing me as a clinician details into when I was really calm, the times that I was neutral, and then when did I kind of lose the focus and I go in here into the active thing. Now, one thing should be noticed, or noted I should say, is there is a time that a person may go so relaxed and so focused and so calm that they actually drift off and they fall asleep. And if that happens, they're going to go right in here into this active area. Um, that's one of the things that when a person goes to sleep, the subconscious takes over and the mind does get very, very active. But let's assume that you're going to be doing this in a clinical session with a client in your office. They probably won't go down that deep. Okay, I do go down that deep when I'm working by myself. So we have this information, which is very, very handy. Then if we go a step further than that, and we go in, we can see that the exercise had no guidance. Because the Muse app that you can download for free off either the Apple website or the uh, Android websites offers you the option to be guided through this. I don't use guided anything. And then the soundscape, which in this case was the beach. I like the beach, and the beach works very, very well for me, but it doesn't work well for some of the other people in the office. Uh, one of the people in the office loves to go to the beach, most relaxing thing in the world for her. However, she likes to hear the waves crash on the rocks. The only way that the waves crash on the rocks using the Muse app is if your mind is wandering and you're not focused. If you're focused, the waves get very, very quiet. Okay, they're not a hard crash and you barely hear them, but you hear lots of birds. She likes to hear the waves, so we don't use the beach on her. We use other soundtracks, but you do have that ability to go in and 
to, to look at things. Then we go into this area right down here, which is showing the musing patterns. Okay, And this will tell us a number of things. Again, um, how often the person does it. It lists the dates. Okay, And this is kind of a quick graph. But if we go in and we just simply double click on one of them, then this gives us more data. Okay, The exact time, how long it was, how many birds, how many recoveries things like that. Then we go out and we click further and we have all of this okay, coming straight back down. So that comes in really, really handy. Okay, um, If we go in even deeper, we can actually expand this out a little bit more and then we can get even more detailed readings. But I think for right now you get the general idea. Okay, I really hope that you give the news a try. I enjoy working with them. Um, they're quick, they're easy. If you have a problem, you can call customer service. They're fantastic to work with. But the biggest asset they have is because the Muse headset was designed by neuroscientists as well as computer scientists. So this is real research quality equipment at the price that a consumer can afford. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye.